If you get bored at school, try out one of our new ideas. An edible volcano in geography class, a blackboard with a sky view, or dominoes made from notebooks. Pick any idea from our new video. Miss Smith comes back to the classroom. What kind of disaster happened here? Why isn't the blackboard ready for a class? Come on, who's responsible for cleaning today? Jessica is the luckiest one. She's on duty today. However, it looks like someone is not just going to wipe off the blackboard, but also prank the teacher. Take a sheet of paper that is the same size as the blackboard. Paint a gradient from bright blue on top and pale purple at the bottom. Make it look like the sky. Paint clouds with a sponge. Make the tops of the clouds lighter and the bottoms darker. That will make them look more realistic. Put a sheet of clear plastic the same size as the piece of paper on top. Cover the plastic with gouache of the same color as the school board. Wait for the background to dry and paint equations on it with white paint. Attach the fake blackboard with double-sided tape. Miss Smith will be so surprised when she sees her favorite equations on the blackboard. But it turns out that we are having a geography class according to the schedule. There is no place for equations in this science. Miss Smith starts wiping off the blackboard and all of a sudden finds a whole new world. That's a miracle! A new discovery happened in geography class. Miss Smith wipes the entrance into the sky. Except that she can't enter it. There is plastic. Miss Smith is disappointed. Her walk on clouds is canceled. Christy is dreaming about something yummy in class. It seems like there is still some chocolate left in her pencil case. But you can't just go ahead and eat your well-deserved carbs when Miss Smith is around. She takes away everything that smells nice, just like a tiger on a hunt. Then she will have to act undercover. It's the perfect time to take out a chocolate notebook with chocolate milk. Cut a sheet of foam plastic to fit a notebook. Make a hole inside of it for a carton of chocolate milk. Put in the carton and cut out a strip for a straw. Hot glue the foam plastic to the notebook. Measure four squares to fit the width of the notebook. Make sure you leave little gaps between them. Cut the needed amount of squares from foam plastic. Make the foam plastic look like a bar of chocolate. Hot glue the squares to the notebook. Cut off the excess to leave the carton hole free. Paint the foam plastic brown. Color the notebook too. Put the milk carton inside. I drink chocolate milk straight from my notebook and I don't need to wait for a break. Miss Smith feels that something is wrong and even gets distracted from a giraffe. Calm down, tiger lady. It's just a notebook. It's not food. The teacher doesn't forbid school supplies in class. Christy is trying to pull off her geography task. She builds a volcano, but she didn't succeed up until now. The only thing you can make from these stones is the Great Wall of China. And the volcano model has to be as realistic as possible like the one Jessica built. Crumble Oreos. Add milk. Make a thick substance that looks like clay. Cut the top and the bottom off a 50 fluid ounce plastic bottle. Cover a sheet of foam plastic with parchment paper. Trace a 17 fluid ounce bottle in the middle. And cut out a hole in the foam plastic. Hot glue the big cup bottle so that the smaller one fits inside of it. Cover the bottle with the cookie substance. Make a wide base that gets narrower towards the top. Shape it like a volcano. Whip an egg white with sugar for lava. Add red food coloring. Roll out green fondant and cut out leaves with a cookie cutter. Put them on toothpicks. These are trees. Pour the red lava onto the volcano. Add the trees. 
and place a dinosaur toy at the bottom of the volcano. Jessica is the goddess of the volcanoes. She just has to turn on the volcano eruption mode. Shake a bottle of soda and put it inside the volcano. Open it up and you can easily film a Jurassic Park sequel. And if we are hungry, we can just eat the volcano. Jurassic School, coming soon. Watch it in every class. The girls are fed up with writing. Their hands and brains got tired. But Jessica seems to know what to do. Let's arrange a domino battle. Cover little notebooks of the same sizes with a foam rubber sheet. Copy a domino pattern on each one. Attach black foam rubber strips and dots. The game is in full swing. The victory in the first World School contest on Notebook Domino is on the line. But Miss Smith is not fond of gambling in class. She puts an end to the game with a nice fall. Watch your step, Miss Smith! Christy can't part with her phone, even for one minute. She's having a lively chat with the best boy in the world. But all good things must come to an end. The teacher doesn't understand that the chat is as important as a good grade in class. He's so heartless! Poor Christy! Her sadness will make all the notes wet. Jessica wants to calm her friend down with a soft anti-stress notebook. Wrap a hardcover notebook with a foam rubber sheet. Attach it with hot glue. Cut foam rubber sheets of suitable colors into thin strips. Weave a rug. Leave fringes. Attach it to the notebook. Hot glue a squishy cat on top. Attach one side of Velcro to the bottom. Cut pieces out of the other half of Velcro so that they look like slipper soles. Make the same shaped pieces from felt. Fasten Velcro and felt pieces together. Attach felt tops to soles and attach the slippers to the Velcro on the notebook. Cats are the best remedy to beat the boredom, even if it's a squishy cat. This cute notebook cheers Christy up. And you can put these slippers on your fingers. The notebook with a rug and a cat got the job done and cheered my friend up. We are having a class with Mr. Sebastian de Franz. The mess at the teacher's desk doesn't sit well with his perfectionism. This is some kind of school supplies chaos. A tutorial on how to spring clean starts. The girls understand that they have to save their teacher. Otherwise, everyone will get stressed. Let's calm him down with our stress relief busy board. Hot glue a net to a foam rubber sheet. Cut off the excess and braid in a few thin satin ribbons. Cut silhouettes of clothing items out of a foam rubber sheet. Stick some pushpins into a half of a foam plastic ball. Put foam rubber strips into a side release buckle and fasten them with hot glue. Attach ribbons for braiding, a zipper, toys, jigsaw puzzles, an abacus, a foam plastic ball with pushpins, a sponge, a squishy, a box with slime, a buckle, and a lock. Attach a rope and hang clothes on it with decorative clothespins. This ring binder is full of ideas to calm down your nerves and fingers. You can click, squeeze, twist, and flip. Mr. DeFran should take a break from his everyday routine. And meanwhile, we will take care of cleaning. Sebastian loves our stress relief binder. If his mood gets better, then our grades might get better too. Morning is the best time for sleeping, but not for studying. Jessica made a special sweater with pillows instead of sleeves so that we can mix business and pleasure. Take a sweater, put it on, and attach safety pins to mark the places to sew down the filling. Fold polyester fiber filling a few times. Sew it down to the inside of the sleeve. Repeat for the other sleeve. Turn the sleeves right side out. This sweater is made just for sleeping in class. Jessica dreams about good grades, past exams, and summer break on these soft sleeves. 
But Christy also has a comfy hoodie. You can stay asleep through the entirety of autumn when you put it on. Cut the seam on a hood. Separate the lining. Sew polyester fiber filling between the layers of the hood. Sew it to the base. Assemble the hood. Sew it with thick knitting yarn along the edge. This brilliant idea to make a pillow from a hoodie could pop up only in the head of a very sleepy student. Now the class will definitely turn into a sleepy town. I hope I won't sleep through the break. My neighbor is always taking up my part of the desk and putting her things on it. But I know how to teach this invader of new territories a lesson. I will make a book prank with a bookmark for her. Mark squares behind the margins of a graph paper notebook so that they look like a chessboard. Cut them out so that they are a few sheets deep. Attach a safety pin to a bookmark and pass it through the squares. Tie it at the bottom of the notebook. Christy has been doing her makeup for such a long time. I would manage to make about 20 pranks in that time, but one is enough. She takes her book. Surprise! The bookmark must have fallen in love with the notebook. And their fates are connected now. Did you like our ideas on how to survive school? Then write in the comments what helps you stay awake in class. And don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss new school pranks and life hacks on Troom Troom.